Streaming? Oh no. I haven't done that in so long. What do I even say? Hmm. Okay. Do, 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 do. As promised, weeks ago, SimCity 3000, the stream. Uh, go watch. I guess. That'd be great. And there's a link. Which now finally comes in as Twitch TV instead of Justin TV, which it's been for the longest time. Uh, let me log off of Steam. And everything else is fine. Hello! I'll enclose this. There we go. Oh, sync my flashcard some other time. So, hey guys. Um, it's been a while. Uh, it's been midterms, pretty much. For the past couple of weeks, I've been preoccupied with that, and now they're over, so I can get back to streaming. And drinking tea on stream, and spilling tea on my lap. While I try to do multiple things at once. So... I've got, as I promised, weeks ago, many weeks ago, I could probably look up the date, but I think it was at least two, that uh, could play some SimCity. And we can do that right now. Um, also, I downloaded this, but I probably can't play it. Second Life, as a joke. Um, a friend and I just spent an hour going through terrible, terrible places on Second Life, and the places that would probably get me banned if I were to stream on Twitch, but good God, there are some very <laughs> unique places on Second Life, let me tell you. Although, quite not, or probably not, uh, Twitch-friendly. But, um... Uh, I'm, I'm just going to leave that there. Maybe one day I could find a way to stream it that isn't going to get me banned. But for the time being, Second Life does not fall under that umbrella. So, yeah, stream it on Livestream or Ustream. I, I guess I could. Um, I don't even know if anybody uses Livestream, to be honest. I never thought they did. But uh, anyway, as I said before, I've got some SimCity 3000 which is kind of weird to work into windowed mode if you've ever tried to do it. You need to set the little command, you know, like minus W and then the resolution, which is fine and good and everything, but then it doesn't go into windowed mode unless you then set your computer color mode to 16-bit. And if you don't do that, then it doesn't work. So in case anybody ever wants to try getting old SimCity in windowed mode, that's what you need to do. And it also makes, like, infinite tunnels of windows turn progressively bluer the farther it goes down, which is kind of neat. I uh, haven't played any of the new SimCity beta yet. I've heard it's okay. Um, of course, I just sort of end up hearing more about the DRM and how everybody hates EA more than the actual game, but I'm sure it will be fine, probably. Although, I don't know if they would ever... Whoops. If they would ever surpass how much I like SimCity 3000. SimCity 4 didn't really do it for me, just because it kept crashing all the time. And it's really hard to build a city when somebody keeps taking the keys to the city out of your hands all the time. As everything crashes. I do have aim running, actually. You're right. I should log off. There we go. So... There's the chat. That's you. Ooh. And somewhere in here will be the game. SimCity. Maxis. You can't see any of this. Oh, what is it? Insert the CD-ROM. I did. Working a minute ago, what happened? The CD is in there. Come on, Maxis. There we go, God. Ah. <laughs> you can't see what's happening on my end, but everything's a giant flickery mess. Um, hang on. 
Okay, there's the chat. This window with the little intro cinematic is bugging out. Can you see that? Yes, you can. <laughs> Welcome to Sim City. Kind of. Oh, that kind of fixes it. Sort of. Oh no! <laughs> I think I need the game volume down a little. Um. I don't know where the sound went. Um. Sound? Please? No? Maybe? Oh! Well, that's interesting. Shouldn't be able to do this. There's windows in this building! That man is actually Bill Gates. This hole is actually Windows 7. Windows 7 Unlimited! Ah. I don't know where the actual window is. The border is gone. Hopefully, once the movie ends, it'll come back. Oh, wait. Alright, whatever. That sort of works. Let me just line this up. Uh, let's see. I don't know if it's going to fill the whole screen. Let's find out. I think it's 1024 by 768. Alright. There's the game, there's the chat. Doesn't quite take up the whole space, but that's okay. So, uh, it's kind of loud. Let me know how the volume is, by the way, in case this happens to be way too loud. Um, I think it might be alright. But let me know. Um, there we go. And we can pop into a scenario or two. Or more. I haven't really played a whole lot of scenarios, and I think the game gets full screen once you actually load into it, so it should be a little better than what you currently see. Now we've got the industrial park next to the burning house. Sounds like a city I've probably made. So, audio okay? Maybe. Hopefully. If you can hear the music over that T slurping, that means it's probably good. Seems okay. Audio is good. Audio is good. Alright. Well, SimCity 3000 is a game in which you could be me and... I don't even know where my old cities would be. What did I even call them? I think Maycomb City was one of the good ones. So SimCity 3000, not 4. SimCity 3000 is a game where you can make a city. And you can make a city from scratch and make it look like this if you have a whole lot of time and patience and wait for your little sections of multicolored dirt to turn into cities. And this might be a little boring to watch from scratch. So what I'm thinking of doing is popping into... That's a lot to load. Wow. Is, um... Popping into a couple of scenarios and trying those, because those actually have a goal. Instead of plain old SimCity where it's, oh, hey, you know, make a city that doesn't suck. Although, one thing that does suck is the music. This is not a song I really like. To be totally honest, every time I play this game, I turn off this, 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 that. What's this? Yep, turn that one off, too. Off, 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 off. Off. Uh... Off. SimCity, to me, is these three songs. Up Downtown, South Bridge, and Central Park Sunday. The three jazz songs in this game pretty much the only ones I actually left on. Every other one I turned off. Ooh, enable 3D sounds. Ooh, it's like I'm really there. If anybody has any requests and they want me to turn on or off certain songs, let me know. So this is one way to play SimCity. This took... I think I started in the year 2000. So this is about 700 in-game years. What that is in hours, I have no idea. Probably a lot. And this is pretty much what happens if you just play for a long time. 
So, I think I have another city that's kind of nice. Um, Tropoli Town, Timothy Town, Tim Town. Uh, Sarcastic City. Mare Sarcasmo. Did I even do anything in this? Doesn't look like it. Oh, it's just the coal plant and some streets and some industry that never did anything. Great, perfect. That's a city. Um, Hard city. Liverpool, England. I didn't make this. Having never been to Liverpool or London, these are things that came with the game. Monotopia. I think I streamed this one last time. Their name Kappa. Yeah, probably did. Neo Town. New City. Old Jersey. Oh, yeah. President and CEO, Mr. Dr. Tim Esquire, PhD, MD. I think I streamed that one too ages ago. Smelly Town, one of my crowning achievements. I'm just really great at naming things, you know? If your taxes are too high, people will leave. Smelly Town. You're looking at it. It's kind of a mess. But, um... Instead of just showing off things, terribly misguided things I have built, Let's pop into a scenario. How much space does the screen take? Oh, most of it. All right. Let me shrink this down so I can put the scenario goal at the top. Maybe I'll make the chat a little bigger. And we'll start a scenario and uh, pull a city from the brink of destruction. Maybe. Or make it worse. That is always an option. Especially when I'm playing. That it might not even be an option, it might just be... Fate. Okay. Uh, there's the chat. There's the game. Okay, there. Scenarios include... Quit out of this. Oh wait, no, don't quit out of that. Oh no! Do I have to leave the game to go into a scenario? I think I do. But then if I leave the game, I have to, like, reposition the window. Oh. Well. It's Desktop City 2000. I got this. Sim City. The buildings. That's a door, and that's a door, and this is a person. Yay, city. Look how happy he is. His arm or leg kind of fell off, but there. Perfect. Can you play SimCity? Yes. Yes, I can. No. <laughs> the CD-ROM's in there. Come on! No, it's... Alright, well... Stop! <laughs> it's in the drive! You want me to take the CD out? Will that make you happy? How about no CD? There. Oh. So it works if I take the CD out. Fine, whatever. Whatever does the trick. Let me try to reposition this window. Oh, it's all flashing. Oh, God. It's terrible. <laughs> Just a giant mess. What happened to this? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can kind of see the video. And, like a bunch of other garbage on the screen. Just pretend this extra little bit isn't there. 
put the CD back in. I had an old computer, and every time it would show that animation of the guy holding the umbrella up to the debris flying at him, it would always end up crashing right there. Okay, is that lined up? No, it isn't. Is that lined up now? I think? No, not quite. There we go. No. Okay. So, SimCity. Let's pick a scenario. I don't think I've ever done any of these. So, it's up to you guys to pick one. And for all I know, there are ways to download new ones. So we've got a better, better field, which I guess you have to rebuild a city that looks like this into something that doesn't suck. Uh, Criminalville. You have to reclaim Moscow from mob rule. Fall of the Wall, I guess you have to connect the two Berlins. Cannot be paused, so I guess... I guess I better not have to use the bathroom. Frankfurt Fest. London Fires. Novice to Intermediate. Hmm. Lord of the Locusts, Rags to Riches, Soul World Cup, Separation Anxiety, Top of the World, or Tutorial on Getting Started. That's my favorite. Are any of them in Oregon? I don't think they are. But I could do Tutorial on Sea and Air. Well, it seems like people want Criminalville. How long does that take? 30 minutes. Alright, sure. <laughs> How hard could that be? Level easy. Um, let me just put that up as a goal at the top. Scenario. Criminalville. Reclaim. Moscow from mob rule. So if there's ever any confusion about what I'm doing, it's this. I'm saving Russia. I think. Alright. Criminalville. Did I misspell scenario? The game just honked at me. Scenario. How do you spell it? Hmm. You spell scenario. 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 Oh. U.S. also and especially British. Weird. Scenario. Scenario. Said. Whatever. Greetings, Mayor. De facto. Hmm. Who should I be? Greetings, Mayor. Well, if it's Moscow... Timonovsky... Sure. I'll take it. Mayor Bonestorm. Ah, oh, that's another good one. Mayor Comrade. Tim Facto. After the fall of the Soviet Union, Moscow was transformed into a capitalist society. Do, do, do. So we need to take down the Russian mob, apparently. Reduce crime by shutting down the mob. It's December of 2065. So the Berlin Wall fell like over 70 years ago. And apparently they still haven't adapted to capitalism. You will not be able to pause or adjust the speed. Alright. Crime rate is unreal. Previous mayor was secretly a member of the Russian mob. Well, that's no problem, because I'm an open member of the Russian mob. Increase land value, bring more people to town. But well, that's not so bad. Just need to fix the crime. How hard could that be? Oh, great. Rodney Boss Jones is going to show me around Moscow. 
Mrs. Farsheim, a very Russian name. Alright, St. Basil's Cathedral. That's a place. Ta-da. It's like I'm really there. This is an example of the high crime area. Sure, yeah. A lot of crime at the dump. Thanks, Rodney Boss Jones. Low land value around power lines and highways? You would not be surprised. But that's why you're the boss, Rodney. Oh, wait, is that the tour? Alright, well, Moscow is known for its low land value and high crime, and that's it. Okay, so crime. Where is the crime? Turn on the crime map. Oh. So it's everywhere. Use S-Map, yes please. How much money does Russia make? Enough. Alright. What do we have for ordinances? Legalized gambling. If we're gonna turn off crime, we have to kill that. Um... What else do we need for crime? Where's like the more police option? Youth curfew. Neighborhood watch. Crossing guards? Nah, eh, probably not. Unless they're crossing out crime. Pro reading? Eh, mandatory water meters? Nah. Power and water conservation? Nah. If you, tell, if you uh, tell people to turn their TV off, they'll just rob you, so let's get rid of that. Trash pre-sword? Eh, none of this really matters, does it? Parking fines? Nah, it's all fine. Okay. I'm going to leave that for now and max out the police funding. Great. Report says that Mayor Timonofsky is not concerned with crime. Well, I'm going to have that journalist killed. There's a lot of crime here. Crime is rampant next to the defense contractor. The vodka distillery, actually. Can I replace that? No, I can't. Hmm. Oh well. Okay. Well, I guess you just build a bunch of police stations, right? Crime is down to 45. You're halfway to accomplishing the goal. Well, that was easy. Hmm. You know... Here's a question. Here's a really dumb question, but a question nonetheless. What if you just... What if you just blow up all of Moscow? You just delete it. Does the crime go away? I mean, you can't have crime if you don't have a city. Gotta get a lot of police to watch that garbage. There we go. Wow. Crime is under control. I put a lot of policemen in the dump. <laughs> Wait, is that... Is that all I had to do? Bulldoze the casino, but I made gambling illegal. I don't even know where the casino is. Is the casino the toxic waste conversion plant? No. Hmm. If I were a casino, where would I be? Hmm. The Foosball Stadium. Team name. I don't know, what's a Russian team? If anyone's got any great ideas, I'm open to hear or um open to hearing them. Let's see, space plant. The vodkas? The Russian vodkas. Is everything just gonna be vodka? Every name of every building? Vodka something? Oh, where's the casino? Do I even need to do that? Crime is 58. Reduce it to 30. Well, I'm not halfway there at all. Well, now it's 40. You just lied to me. Casino, casino. Well, I guess the casino would be in a commercial area. Maybe 
next to a highway? Maybe? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna replace it with the... Uh, they don't have any 5x5 five five buildings, so let's blow it up. Yep, with the casino gone, the mob just leaves. They don't riot, they don't make assassination attempts. You know, the Russian mob just packs it up. And I'm gonna build a Statue of Liberty where that casino was. Just Americanize everything. The casino is now Rockefeller Center. Now a symbol of capitalism and American freedom. And the Empire State Building. Everything. Perfect. Uh... You sure? Bank of America. Great. We've turned the Russian mob into downtown New York and San Francisco. And here's Alcatraz. Fine. I'll do that too. Remember when Alcatraz was built right next to, what, St. Basil's Cathedral in Russia? It's not even an island. It's just sitting there at a cross-section. So crime is 40. Crime is... Please reduce it to 30, but it's at 40. But I apparently got it. Alright. Land value is 74. Increase it to 90. How hard could that be? Let's make a bunch of parks. That'll make everyone happy. Russian people love parks. You can just hope that they'll be actually rushing to the park. Ha 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 ha, rush, Russia, get it. The joke. Get it up. Okay. Did that work out? What is my land value? Greet your neighbor. Day is a huge failure. Oh. There are no neighbors, yes, in a city with the population of almost a million. Let's put some nice little fountains by the industrial park. And a zoo. Let's blow this guy's house up. Put a zoo there instead. Oh. Okay, fine. No zoos. Actually, let's fill in the river. Alright, you with me? And... Just build a zoo. There. Many zoos. No longer have any sort of... trade down that river. But, you know, we've got monkeys, lions, more monkeys, single-handedly saving Russia. And here's some ponds. It's kind of like a river. What else? Uh, parks. There. Everywhere, it's a park! And a landmark. No, not a landmark. A reward. A statue of a guy holding a giant hammer. Great. Historic statue. Um, let's see. A Russian person. You. What's your name? Cowpatty Nation. You don't have a name. Who's this statue going to be of? A Russian man. Can I have a name? I just want a name. All Russian men are different. Well, that's good. Famous Russian men. Yeah. Mikhail Barshnikov. Yep, that's you. Built in your... In me. I can't copy and paste, can I? No, I can't copy and paste. How do you spell that? I don't know. I'll just do it phonetically. Mikhail Barsh... Me, Cove, America. I can't even spell America. I am American. I don't know other cultures. I'm sorry. Oh, it doesn't fit. 
Um, Revolver Ocelot. There we go. Let's see, so Russia needs more parks, because the land value is only 86. Actually, you know, Russia needs trees. Everywhere. There's no trees here, apparently. Hmm. Oh, well, there's no demand for industry. Might as well just blow it up. Perfect. That'll bring the land value up. And we'll turn the industry into a sports park. Despite the fact there's still probably pollution lingering around. That's alright. Little League teams are not very picky. I don't even think you have to connect these to roads. But, you know, just for the sake of it looking kind of natural. I don't know if I killed hundreds of people. I don't know. Might have inconvenienced them slightly. Blow that thing up. You know, let's take a bunch of playgrounds and put them in the nuclear park. Perfect. So now all the nuclear technicians' kids can have a nice place to leave them. Or wait, no. All the nuclear technicians have a nice place to leave their kids. That's what I meant to say. There. Is the land value good yet? I'm trying to fix Russia. There. What kind of scenario is this? Uh, I have to bring the land value up. And the population, eventually. Um, I'll get to that. How's the land value here? Very low. Oh. Probably would help if I actually tried to build houses. Now destroy the schools. I don't know. I don't think that'll help. Land value? Very low. Huh. Well, obviously, I just need... Oh, man! I could build playgrounds by the dump. What am I waiting for? A playground near the nuclear base, or um, near the military base, near the nuclear power plant, and near the dump. All at once. Oh, this is great. <laughs> it apparently works, too. Population is up. You're a star. I'm not shining because I'm a star, I'm shining because I'm radioactive. Someone please help. Yeah, these nuclear plants don't look so scary anymore. Just surround them with playgrounds. It's great. Why am I taking info from a 15-year-old weed dealer? Because I don't speak Russian. He's my only connection to the community. They want schools and libraries. Do they? People leaving Moscow, what did you do? I don't... I'll fix this. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. No taxes! I don't care what happens to Moscow once I'm done. Let's see. Yeah, schools. No taxes, loads of schools. I don't know who's gonna pay for this. Thankfully, it won't be me. Great. <laughs> You're welcome, Russia. There. Apparently, they're still overcrowded. I just built probably 20 schools. Oh, there we go, now they're good. Hmm. Hospitals. 
Built some of those. Realistically, you would make this laid out in such a way where there weren't a dozen hospitals in a corner of the map, but it kind of works in this scenario, because you only play it for 30 minutes, and after those 30 minutes, you're done. Okay, there's residential demand. Let's build some of this. Let's zoom out a bit. Build some roads. And build some more roads. And connect to your neighbor, which is probably also Russia, given the size of Russia. Gotta bring the land value up one more point. Population's coming up. Alright, land value is 90. It has to go to 90. I don't know why it isn't telling me I won yet, but... Maybe I just need more... Courthouses. There. More zoos. That'll fix Russia. Let's build a zoo in this guy's backyard. The land value is now high. Oh, my neighbor's Alaska. Is that how this works? Well, zoos have fixed Russia. Land value is 90. This is the zoo sector, pretty much. You've got garbage-covered industry parks next to zoos, next to your house. What a great place. Oh, the landfill's full. Was I supposed to make new trash handling things? Hmm. Can't win yet. Anything? No. Bring land value to 90. I did. Didn't I? The land value is 89! Oh god! 50,000 people just left Russia. How? I was just about to win. Is it because of the garbage? Will somebody offer to buy garbage from Russia? That'd be really nice. Garbage deal. Yes, thank you. Declare city a nuclear free zone. It's Russia. <laughs> Reject you. Join clean industry. Yeah, we're good. Hospitals plentiful, plenty of schools. Yeah, but that's because they're all in one place. Uh, I don't have a midterm tomorrow because tomorrow's Sunday. I know the land value is 89. Why isn't it not 90? Also, who would make a road like this? It's like a roundabout connected to a roundabout times 10. Okay, I need more people in Russia. So the obvious solution is to take medium residential and click and drag one end of the map to the other end and fill in every available space with housing. Right. I'm the mayor. This is how we do things. There. Every piece of Russia is officially livable wherever it is. Stake your claim. It's Manifest Moscow. Please? Please move in? Doesn't anybody want to live next to the Empire State Building? Or the Statue of Liberty? Yay! Land value's 88! No! I only have two years left. Oh, you gotta give me more time, Rodney Boss Jones. I'm not gonna do it in two years. Ugh, fountains. I already have fountains there. Fountains here. 
Who cares about industry? No one. Fountains. You live in the fountain factory. Like your job? Haha, <laughs> not anymore. Now it's a hospital. Your job? Your college. You. I, I don't... Sure, abandoned factory junk. The land value's up. No, we won. The land value had to be 90. I got it to 88, and then I guess it just rounded up. Timonovsky is the virtuous victor. I guess that's the highest ranking. The people of Russia have decided to crown you as the new president. You will lead them into the next golden age. Heh, <laughs> I don't think so. Once they realize somebody has to pay for all the crap I built, I don't think they're going to be too happy. Play another scenario. Yeah, fine. How about top of the world? If I recall correctly, eh, correctly, this one is actually kind of difficult. Almost as difficult as tutorial on getting started. What actually is this one? I don't think I've ever done the tutorial. Greetings, Mayor. De facto. Mayor. De Timo. How to build roads. Is it going to tell me? No. Oh. Sims will only walk so far. Roads! Or a logical way to get them around. Okay. Build a grid of roads. Try a 20 by 10 rectangle. Okay. Oh, it's already got a part. 20 by... Well done. <laughs> I didn't do any of that. <laughs> what? Can I just do anything? Build a coal plant. Build a power line. Select the power plant. Make a coal plant. Alright. Nuclear. There. Oh, I'm broke. Um. Okay, fine. Excellent! Now run a power line to the city edge. What do you do if you're broke in the tutorial? Oop, I can't. I can't reach. I think they expected you to run out of money this fast. <laughs> oh no! I can't connect it. How to take out a loan. A tutorial. I'm never gonna pay that back. Yes. Yes! Thank you. Now what? Does it have to go from the coal plant to the tutorial? Oh. Nice work. Oh, thanks, Constance Lee. Okay. Alright. Zone some low-density residential. There you go. Yep, there's my city. I hope you like it. Put a lot of time into planning it. Um... I think I'm gonna do a real tutorial, actually. Except... Oh wait. There's no way to switch tutorials mid-tutorial, is there? Unless I can load a tutorial? Is that how this works? Hmm. I've never tried. Nope, can't load a scenario. Bummer. Well, guess I gotta close this. Do you wanna save? No, please. Let's play a real scenario. That doesn't involve... No, don't read off the CD. Let's play a real scenario that doesn't involve just following directions. You might have noticed I'm bad at that. Maxis, why aren't you loading? 
I was playing the game just a couple of minutes ago. Maxis. Maxis, come on. There you go. You did it. This game doesn't really like being in windowed mode. Like, at all. Okay, scenarios. Um... If anybody sees anyone here, any specific scenario that really moves them, let me know. Uh, if not, I might switch into Top of the World, where apparently the ice caps have melted and there is one city left on Earth. Hint, it's in Asia. Judging by the building style, apparently every place is dead. Except for this random Asian place. London Fires, London Fires, alright, we'll try that. London Fires. Prevent London from becoming a blazing inferno. Sure. I will do that. Let me just change this. London Fires. Prevent London from becoming a placing inferno. Exclamation point. Oh, it's like a pixel off on that end, isn't it? Okay. What do you need to do? You know, the police officer in London is exactly the same as the police officer in Moscow. Seems a little sketchy. Over three centuries ago, four-fifths of London, England, was destroyed in the Great Fire of London. As our new mayor, it is your job to see that London is protected from the threat of fire once and for all. You know, if that happened three centuries ago, I'm really not worried about it now. It's like, hey, the bubonic plague happened, but we want to make sure it doesn't happen again. Despite the fact we're in a totally different millennium. Okay, prepare London by building fire stations. Key element in fighting fire is water. Wow. Don't lose any landmarks. If they burn down, you lose. Okay. You got it, Britain. Oh, where are the landmarks? Simply click and drag me out of the way. Oh, that's super handy. Here's a place. It's the... I don't... I don't actually know what this is. The, the Cadbury factory. Oh, wait. That's the Tower of London. Knew it! It's my second guess. St. Paul's Cathedral! Uh... The London White House. Yes. Big Ben. Yes, that's a thing I've heard of. Not that big, though. Hmm. Alright, what else? What else does London have? Westminster Abbey? Is it behind this? There it is. Okay. And the fifth one is... Trafalgar Square. Good luck and have fun. Alright, well. Let's make it... Super London-y by putting... Oh no, where's the Statue of Liberty? There it is. There. Put the Statue of Liberty right next to Trafalgar Square, exactly as it is in the UK. Hmm. And the Eiffel Tower, you know. Oh, it doesn't fit. Hmm. What else can we build? I don't know what any of these things are. Peachtree Tower? It's apparently in my country. Why don't we just build the White House in London? Hmm, does that fit? Is there a place for the White House? No, I'll put the White House next to the Industrial Park. Perfect. Well, it's never gonna burn. So apparently there's a risk for everything to explode at any moment. 
That's because somebody broke all the pipes. Okay. That sucks. There. Oh. Pipes. Come on. Lack of water. I'm trying to fix that. Oh, these guys aren't even connected. Now they are. You're not pumping. You're not pumping. You're not pumping. You're not pumping. None of these are pumping. None of those are pumping. How did somebody just break all the plumbing in London? How do you even do that? No. There we go. Now it's all blue, right? No. Hmm. Well, I guess I can just connect that to France and buy some water there. Oh no! <laughs> There's no water here either. Uh oh. Can I buy water, please? Water deal. Wait, how do we have a water deal? And there's no water for anyone. What's this? What's this even supposed to be? There's just pipes hooked up to nothing. None of these things are connected. Wait, what? <laughs> I hope you took advantage of the time we gave you. You'll no longer be able to pause the game. Welcome to reality. I didn't... I didn't even know I could pause the game. All right. Wait. Oh, crap. Lennon's on fire, isn't it? Oh, god damn it. Why? How's the park on fire? Oh, god damn it. Why? No. How did this even happen? London, what did you do? Oh, the big Ben's on. God damn it. No. And the airport tarmac's on fire, but not the actual airport. Okay. Sorry, London. Fire departments. I should have just blown up everything in London so it couldn't catch fire. Ugh. Okay. I got this. Oh, Big Ben just blew up. Never mind. I don't got this. Build a new one. Do, do, do. Big Ben, Big Ben. Oh, hey, good as new. Oh, God. <laughs> How did this even happen? Any other landmarks explode? Nope, they're all still there. I wonder if that counts. Oh no, not again! Um... So London has seen better days. Did that help? as fast as I can push buttons for you, London. Oh! You won. All these helicopters are really confused right now, but... Oh well. Surprising none of them have crashed yet. Oh no, not again! Why? What did you... What is wrong with London? Why does everything just spontaneously combust? Oh no! What's this again? St. Paul's Cathedral just caught fire. Um, god damn it! What is in the Big Ben that makes it so flammable? It's like a giant cigarette. All the pipes are broken too, yeah. Why didn't I just blow up London and just put, you know, I want to try that.
Next time I do the scenario, I'm going to delete everything, build five landmarks next to each other. That's it. Therefore, they'll never catch fire. Probably. I'm rallying the entire fire department for this one tree. Oh god! And these trees too. They're exploding into pieces of garbage. Uh. London, what is your deal? How about the, the police? Fine. The crop dusters? Oh, I can't have those. There's a lot of traffic in London. Nobody seems to be terribly concerned the city's on fire. Look, if London got deleted, it can't catch fire. Oh, not again! What else is on fire? That's on fire. Big Ben 2.0 is almost on fire again. Seriously, why is Big Ben so flammable? It catches on fire every other day. Oh no! You know, I've never been to the UK, but this is not the most convincing argument to go. They should not use this for a tourism campaign. I don't think it would work. What if I just put Big Ben somewhere else? How about that? What if I just put Big Ben on an island? Can't catch fire then. You know, I thought it was supposed to rain all the time in Britain. How is everything always on fire? Oh, finally, fire's over. Right? It's been like two days. What? No, just kidding. Things on fire again. I am a dork. Biggest of dorks. Oh, there. It's almost been a week since that last fire. Oh, just kidding. <sighs> okay, what else is on fire? This tree is on fire. This concrete park is on fire. Jeez. There. Firefighters want more money. Fine. Take all the money. There. London is one big fire hazard. All of it. Alright, there's apparently not enough water in London. It's also on fire again. <laughs> okay, what else? Is that it? Nope. But the, the water pumping plant is on fire. Okay, we have a water deal with the neighbor. So somewhere, somehow, the water we're buying is not connected to anything. Is this the problem? Is it because those pipes weren't stuck to the rest of the pipe network? Well, the fire's over. Nope. No, it isn't. Ah, <sighs> Big Ben's on fire again, guys. In case you were wondering. Oh no! <laughs> Is London really like this? Does it catch fire every other day? Yes. Oh, well. In that case. Rains fire in London.
Huh? Mostly. Hmm. It says I can, but I really can't. Lied to me, game. Hmm. Raise that. Why can't I? Okay. Oh. There you go. Perfect. Now this has to go over the mountain. Barely. No. This is a terrible way to run a city. Yeah, the crab people have already won the scenario. Is that what's up? Okay, bring this down. Bring that down, bring that down. That. Okay. Bring this... Uh, no. Don't bring that up, because that doesn't work. Why don't you work? Oh god, this is... This is oppressive. Alright. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Just build that little piece. Oh, jeez. Why do I want to... What is this? Wait. I built a tunnel that goes... In? And then it comes out the top? But... Why is... Oh, God. Ugh. I was trying to build this from the beginning. And now it finally works? But no, it doesn't work. It didn't do anything. Now we just have a tunnel. And no money. And a population half of what I started with. Oh, God. What... What the hell happened to my city? There! No! There! No! There! No! There! Ugh! No! Yes! Oh, thank God! I'm gonna blow that house up in celebration. I did it. Okay. <laughs> I've got this road that goes nowhere, and a tunnel that actually connects the two sides. Population that's going down the toilet. Welcome to Mount Hylotoud. The happiest place on Earth. The only place on Earth. Welcome. Alright, money. Please. Money. Legalized gambling. Fine. Parking fines. Literally, fine. Uh, industrial pollutant. Fine. Uh, what else? I think that's the only stuff that makes money. Yes. It's pronounced high altitude. Wow. You know, I've had this game for 13 years and I've never made that connection. Mount high altitude. <laughs> oh, man. I can see this college education is really serving me well. Why is my high-tech, or, uh, where is my high-tech industry? I don't think the education's high enough. My population is half of what it is, or half of what it started with. Well, this is going great. New home for mayor. Thanks. Appreciate it, guys. I'm gonna build it far away from this crap hole. Look at the mayor's own island. Yeah! Mare Island. And I'll build a power plant. Oh, wait. No, I won't. Geyser Park. Yeah, fine. You know, there's a geyser at the top of the mountain. Uh, no, can't afford anything else. Land value is 77. Pollution is 3. Citizens of Mount High Altitude vote for dolphins as their favorite pet. How are we doing? We suck. Gotta get the population to 55,000. It's currently at 21,000. That's a big difference. Everyone's abandoning the city. I have $175 to spend on industry. How many little tiles can I make? I think each tile is 10 bucks. 
Um, no, nope, can't build anything there. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I can build six more tiles of industry, and after that, I'm broke. Oh, wait a minute, am I? Am I really broke? <laughs> no, I'm fine. Very good. We actually lied about that whole land being a commodity thing, you know? We got plenty of land here at Mount High Altitude. Everything is great here on Mount High Altitude. Infinite land and infinite money. I feel bad for that marina just sort of sitting there in a puddle. That's a bad idea. I don't think so. I'm trying to save humanity. Oh, those crab people are lone sharks. Watch out. Connect to my neighbor. Okay. <laughs> Let's have diplomatic negotiations with the crab pe- Oh. I guess we can't. It doesn't connect. Just the road that goes nowhere. Oh well. Hey, residential demand is up. For the first time in ages. Mouse control and this is a little squirrely. It's shooting the uh, map all over the place. And these people probably need water, despite the fact they're surrounded by it. There you go. Is that gonna connect? There. Stick this on that. Hmm. Maybe not. There. I'll just build that under the mountain. It's not a useless marina. It's got 64 boats at the America 1 marina. I guess this is now the America 2 marina. There we go. I can replace this with a high school. Yeah, please. My marina is now a floating high school. Oh, wait, no, it isn't. Now it's a high school. Perfect. I did it. Welcome to the future. Why is nobody living here? High tech lab. Yes, please. Headquarters. Just any headquarters. Just kind of there. Is that a school for the crab people? Pretty much, yeah. Population is 20,000. Almost 21,000, but it has to be 55, and it started at about 45. How it's gone so bad, I will never know. Hmm. Let's see, what are my issues? Uh, nothing I really care a whole lot about. Free courthouse, oh, thanks. I would love that. City Hall and Courthouse. This will be the new center of town. Nope, not that. Courthouse. Yes, please. Great. It's got a uh, built-in IMAX theater. How many years left? I don't actually know. It doesn't seem like it has a time. Oh man, population's going up! Quick, here! Dense commercial. I guess once you complete an objective, you can't screw it up again. Oh. Heh. <laughs> Heh. Oops. Well, I could screw it up again. I don't, I don't know about you guys. Land value, no! I 
But the pollution's gonna come back, too. It's all going to come back. All the progress we made. It's gonna go right down the toilet. Oh no, everything's abandoned! How? What happened? Crooks roam free, just throw them in the lake! Oh no! They're concerned that Mayor de facto is not environmentally friendly. There's some very angry hippies. This is the only city on Earth, and you're blowing it up! It's on fire. Oh. This abandoned lot. More helicopters! There we go. That'll solve it. Yeah, look, if people are riding, I'm gonna blow the air raid siren, you know? It only seems right. Yeah, they're complaining I'm not environmentally friendly, so they set the town on fire and throw garbage everywhere. You know what a, po a post-apocalyptic city needs? A functional subway system. Fire department's heading back, clipping through all the buildings. And we'll build a stop over here. And a stop over here, where no one lives. I built a stop here, but it doesn't seem to fit. There we go. I'll build a subway on the mountain. That's not dumb at all. Oops. Thank God I don't have to pay the loan down. Or maybe I do, and it just hasn't told me yet. Oh no. Can I not build this? Uh oh. Uh. Subway? I. I hate to tell you this, I don't. Thanks. I don't know if it's possible to build this. I think I might just have to leave you half done. You get to the bottom of the hill and you just dump the trains out. That's the end of the line. Hmm. Well, maybe it's sort of salvageable. Well, I mean, if you throw it from here to there, it might land in that little tube. Alright, well if that's not gonna work, I'll just I'll just drive it underwater. There. I'll just go around the problem. And spend a whole lot more money in the process. I think that is a perfectly effective subway system. Also this little housing development has a no connection to the rest of the city. That might be why it's abandoned. Just a hunch. Also, this is why I'm broke. In case you've ever wondered. If you've ever seen me play a game with a budget and wonder, you know, how did you run out of money so fast? It's because of things like these, you know? Let me build a really roundabout subway in a post-apocalyptic city. There. It covers all the bases, I think. Lovely. Sims rail against ineffective transit system. Oh, don't do this to me, Mobile. That subway is my pride and joy. And to be fair, it's the only functioning subway on Earth. Hmm. 
trying to rotate the camera where I had it all oriented before. I think that was it. There we go. Play a game like SimCity and you get used to everything looking like a certain orientation showed it the first time, and once you start spinning that around, you have no idea where anything else or where anything else is. Hey, 34 people per day use this subway. That's not bad. That's a good 0.01% of the population. Yeah, only 25,000 people to go. Guys, please live here. There's so much space. So much residential zoning. Go. Look, it's beachfront property. And there are no taxes. Make babies faster. Please, anyone. Just start splitting into two. Everything has water. What is it yelling at me for? Some places still don't have water. What doesn't have water? Everything's blue. Is it because the mayor's house doesn't have water? Is that what they're yelling at me for? <laughs> because my own house has no water? There, I'll blow it up. Did that fix it? No? Is it because my power plants aren't watered? There, there are no water fountains in my windmill? Okay, two more years. No water fountains in my windmill. Alright, great. Alright guys, you have two years to make 20,000 babies. I hope you're up to the task. Thoughts on Sin City 5? Uh, I haven't played it. Looks pretty. Pour it another mug of tea. Getting over a cold I had all midterm week, so it is tea time for Tim. Look guys, if everyone just you know goes through binary fission just once in the next two years, we'll be fine. I mean hell, some of you guys don't even have to split. We only need 20,000 babies. In fact, less than 20,000 babies. Only about 19,000 babies. Could we just like, I don't know, take a shirt and draw a face on a pumpkin and then just stick the two together and just pretend it's a baby or something? This, this seems a little impossible. All right, you know what? No taxes. Zero taxes. Business deals, no, go back. Ordinances, everything. Please, please live here. Guys, I'll do anything. Anything at all, just... Whatever you want. Y you want homeless shelters, you got it. Conservation Corps, Biotech Tax Incentive, Carpools, fine. Tourism, yeah, I mean, I don't know where the tourists are going to come from, but if it makes you guys happy. How do I feel about the new Van Dyke Parks album? Uh, I don't know. I haven't listened to any new Van Dyke Park stuff. I like Song Cycle, but that was from 1967? And every time I look at a new picture of Van Dyke Parks, he always reminds me of the Colonel from KFC. So, if the album smells like fried chicken, maybe I'll buy it. Homeless people live in a massive abandoned subway system. It's not abandoned. 107 people per day use it. My city needs cops. Meh. Probably does. I have at least one cop shack. I don't know where they are. I don't know what the police station looks like in this tile set. I think I have at least one or two cops, right? 
Did they live in the gazebo? Hmm. Sims want to know, where are the police? Alright. Here. Here's cops. <laughs> or a cop, I guess. That's all the space I've got. There's the police. There's the police station. No. Maybe not. No space. Hmm. Police station there. Police? 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 Anywhere? No. Oh. No. What is this? There's no space. I'll just build it on the dump. No, I won't. Doesn't fit. Alright, guys. You gotta watch out for that little patch of garbage. That's where your beat is. I'm not gonna win this scenario. Anyone in here like Tame Impala? I love Tame Impala. Tax friendly policy brings industry to Mount Hylatoud. High altitude. That's right. Industrial taxes low. Not only are they low, they're zero. I am literally at the point where I'm almost giving you people money to live here. And I can't even connect this to any neighbors because they're all dead. Police scarce as hen's teeth. Well, where is the crime? He asked. There really isn't any, so I don't know what they want me to do. Guys, please. Please live here. Land value is 76, okay? I can give it a seaport, but then the uh, pollution's gonna go up. Alright, whatever. I'll just stick it... Oh god, camera. Whoa! I'll stick it right there. Oh god! <laughs> and that developed pretty much instantly. Wow. I guess they really did want a seaport. I guess they don't want this piece though. Oh, no. Just kidding. Let's put a single house in the middle of that. I thought Inner Speaker was pretty good too. Maybe not quite as great as Lonerism, but uh, certainly enjoyed both albums. Now the crab people can come to land. I'm sorry, Roboloco. The idea is that the seaport will pollute the water that the crab people live in, so then they won't be able to attack us. What does not have water? What is not currently watered. That is one thing this game always yells at you about. Something somewhere does not have water. There is a cup on a dinner table someplace that is not full, and that is headline breaking news in SimCity 3000. Is it because this piece of the seaport doesn't have water? Because that's kind of silly. That's the part that sticks out into the water. I don't even know what it's yelling me about. Does that fix it? Probably not. Yes, it's the final fortress of human civilization. The street's unsafe. Build some jails. Hmm. Nah. City offered lighthouse. I'll take it. Let's see. Where can I put the lighthouse? How about in the middle of the city? Right there. Now we're safe. Keep an eye on these abandoned buildings. Ever hear of Prison Architect? Uh, yes? Heard of it. Never played it. I don't know what it's about. I mean, aside from prisons. Experts called power supply adequate. Well, that's good. Population is 36,000. 
I need 19,000 babies. Where am I going to get 19,000 babies? Can somebody just point me to a place where I can just get babies? Ideally in bulk. Can I get a discount that way? Hmm. Let's see, let's go to eBay. Babies in... No, not babes. Babies in bulk. What is the going rate on 19,000 babies? Uh, no, those are condoms. That's... Incense sticks? Glow-in-the-dark stars? I had those. They always fell off my ceiling. Baby girl's clothing. 25 two peas in pod candle twin shower favor baby shower event bulk lot. That's a lot of words. I don't think they even go together. 75 bun in the oven cinnamon bun candle baby shower favor bulk lot. Sure, I'll I'll just get baby candles. Pretend they're the same thing. Okay, I need well, population, 38,300 and... or 38,530. Almost. I need seven... no, 16,000 and change people at this point. I get the incense sticks to get the right mood, and then you get babies. Oh no, pollution's going back up! Oh no! I knew I shouldn't have built that seaport. Now it's just sludge everywhere. Hmm, that's no good. So I think this boat is getting stuck in this building. Or maybe it's docking, I don't know. The baby carrots count? No, they might. Where are those ships going? I don't know. Nowhere, I guess. It's the last city on Earth. I guess they're just sort of there to keep up appearances. Make people believe everything's normal. Yep, trading with myself, going back and forth a couple of feet. Actually, my Royal Navy. Out to defeat the crab people in Encarthen and Castillo, Johnstown and Stoddard. Oh, I can name these, huh. Crap people, no crab people. What do we have? Crab people? What are the other people? The dolphin people, I think someone mentioned? Dolphin kin... Fort... Place... Manatee overlords, urchin people. Urchin... Dudes. Extreme. There. Can I discuss a deal with any of these people? No, I can't. Hmm. But the national population is 47 million. This doesn't add to that. So where do everyone else... Where does everyone else live? Or do they? I don't even know if there are people involved. Hmm. Let's see. Giant Nose Guy wants me to turn off my power conservation law. No! I'll be known as the Mayor of the Dark Ages. Well, I kind of am. I mean, it's the only city on Earth that doesn't really get any darker than that. Good police coverage. Oh, thank you, scrawny arm woman. Below average bowlers league thinks parking fines are a bad thing. Well, you're not going to find another city to shop at, so... Better watch out where you park your car. Thank you, below average bowlers league. What do my advisors think? Eh, what do you think? Garbage capacity is good. That's good to know. There's literally 
four squares of garbage. One percent full. Also, the police office, or the, um, police station is not powered. Oops. Well, now it is. Population is 40,000. I just gotta get it up. 15,000 more people. Residential demand is through the roof. Maybe if I blow up some of these, oops, abandoned buildings, that'll spur their development. Which I think it actually does. Pro tip. Blow up abandoned buildings and they will rebuild faster. They rebuild on their own, of course, but this just speeds it up a tad. Try not to hit in the... Or, uh, try not to hit any of the big ones on their own. Just end up evicting a whole bunch of people at once. Which would not be good. Ah, oh, the Sunflower Station. That's what I call my house, too. Alright. How much time is left? I really don't know. I assume they would tell you once you get to one year left, but I'm really not sure. I think there's one more year after this. Alright, it's another high rise. It's probably another thousand people. Sun and moon apartments. Sounds like a Chinese buffet. I mean, sans the apartment part, of course. Time to move to the subway. What is the population of the subway? 236 people. That's not bad. It's a lot of hobos. But as long as they count toward the population, I don't mind. Let's go grab my phone, check email. All right. Left out of the rain. Who doesn't have water? Everything is blue. These are power plants, or trees. I'm not connecting trees to the public water system. That's... That's not how things work. Oh no! <laughs> oh, now I'm broke. I officially can no longer buy anything. Not a single thing. So the city, as it is, has got to fund 12,000 more people coming into the city, or being born. Nothing else can be done. Just a waiting game now. Can I build anything? No. No bus stops for me. Raise the taxes. No, because I only have one year left, and you don't get money until the end of the year. So even if I broke even by raising the taxes, the scenario would be over, so there's really no point in doing that. I can't lower the tax, it's already at zero! Somebody tweeted me a link. I think it's some sort of spam thing. How to get a free iPhone 5. Oh. Whether you want the iPhone 5 as an upgrade, a MacBook for work, an iPod Touch for a birthday, or a free Christmas, it's all here. Oh, I'd love a free Christmas, actually. Uh, do, 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 do. Choose the freebie site that suits you! Oh, I can bookmark this page or make it my homepage. Each referral earns you 10 pounds. Wait a minute. I don't operate in pounds. I think that's a scam. Okay. We need 9,000 more people in this city. That's it. Just 9,000 more. There's plenty of stuff to be developed. Apartment complexes in the works, I think we can do it. As long as there isn't another riot and the whole place burns down again. You 
Now, somebody gifted me a game that I tweeted, and I haven't played it. I forget what it was called. It was some really cheap Steam game that might have been a dating sim. I don't remember. I should check. Because I actually installed it. It's not a very big game. I don't know if whatever it is would make good streaming material. Probably not. Um, it was not dinner date, it was... Hmm. I can't find it. Oh well, whatever. So hey, how about that PlayStation 4? Haven't streamed since that was announced. Sort of thought it was interesting that uh, Sony is doing the whole live streaming thing with Ustream and not Twitch. Sort of thought Ustream was dead up until that came out. Magical Diary, that sounds like the name. Hmm. Oh, hey, look. Giant commercial high rises. Oh no, and residential demand's going down. Residential demand, no, come back. I demand more babies. In residences. Also, I mentioned before I'm kind of getting over a cold I had during midterm, so I'm gonna mute the mic for one quick second as I blow my nose. The most ironic part is how laggy the Ustream feed was. To be fair, there were like 500, 400,000 people watching it. I kind of thought it was funny that the uh, Twitch P or, uh, PlayStation 4 stream was actually just a restream of the Ustream one. Complete with the little Ustream loading icons and everything. But hey, I guess there's no reason to reinvent the wheel. Oh, come on, town. 9,000 people. Please, just... Just make 9,000 babies. Just just acquire 9,000 babies. I don't even care where they come from. Hmm. Alright. 7,000. Or six and a half thousand more babies. We got this. The pond. Full of a bunch of abandoned houses. Nobody lives in Tempura Drive. Or Yoshida Road. Or Hiroko's house. No one lives in any of these places. Or the fenced lot. I shed a tear for the abandoned fence lot. Ah, I can't speed up time. It's stuck. Most scenarios in this game have the time locked anyway. And also don't let you pause. So if you have to use the bathroom, you are screwed. Come on, population. Toy store. Huh. Oh. Looks like it's falling over. Looks like something I designed. No, there are no fires. That is true. I do not have a Wii U. Played with one in a GameStop today, though. I guess it was kind of neat. Um. You know, I didn't realize. I guess it didn't click with the Wii U and the Wii U pad that it's like video streaming and compression to the pad because the uh, Wii U pad, all the little video on that, had that same kind of characteristic blocky red stuff. You know, like in the 
the way that red gets rendered for um, video compression, how it turns out a lot blockier than other colors, because it's more heavily compressed. That was the uh, case on the Wii U pad. And I guess I didn't consider that. I thought it would just be some sort of magical video transfer where the Wii U pad picked up totally pristine video from the console. But I guess it was kind of neat. I just... Oh, hey, we're almost there. It was kind of neat. Um, I just don't have $300 for one, I guess. It's kind of me and most tech these days. Looks cool. Don't... Don't really have any money, though. It's like the Vita, you know? Be cool to have. You know, get like Persona 4 on it or something, but I just don't have any money for that. City running in the red. Yeah, we've been kind of broke for a while. Now, the real question is, are we going to be able to get 4,000 people in less than four months? I don't think so, but, you know, if the town really gets busy, we might, maybe, be able to do it. Maybe. Maybe. My 3DS being used as a paperweight. Um... Not really. Um, now and then I play it, or swap note things. Got uh, Mario 3D Land today, because I heard that was really good, and I haven't bought anything for the 3DS in a little while. Sims live hard, die young, poor health, and mount high altitude. Population, 52,356. We are almost there. Come on, Mount High Altitude! Look, I don't care how much inbreeding results, just get the population up about, or up above 55,000. That's it. That's all we need. The residential demand is up. There's no reason we can't make this goal. Our spelling team failed to make the playoffs, so that's fine. All the other contestants are dead. Barrel of Fun Motor Oil Recycle, my favorite place. 54,283. Nothing short of nuclear holocaust can stop us now. And knowing SimCity, that's probably exactly what's going to happen. Do I have any interest in computer hardware? Because as far as stuff you want but don't have the money for, the GTX Titan was released recently. From what I remember, I think the... GTX Titan is like $800 or some absurd amount for a video card. Like an entire PC's cost in one component. I'll throw that on the list of things I don't have money for. I should play Bombermine. I did. Oh man. It's actually surprisingly fun. Oh, a thousand dollars. Whoops. Can't say I've really been keeping up. Sometimes when stuff just gets too expensive, you zone out, because it's just, you know, I'm never going to afford this. I'm not even going to bother to think about it. You get all sad about things you can't afford. Oh. Are we going to lose? I think we are. Population's 54,283, but the residential demand is down. Which means the population's going to sink, and there is a little over a month left. And also, this big apartment complex just got abandoned, which is not very good. And that's all abandoned. Yeah, I think we're done. Can I make a bridge to a neighboring town? I tried, and it doesn't connect. I think because everyone is too far away. If it has a little arrow here, it shows, uh, shows you you can't connect to that. But we'll see once it hits December what happens to the population. Okay. You have one month. One month to get 
hundred people. It, it could happen. It could happen. The residential demand is no longer negative, but, but we might be okay. Residential demand has to go up though, or else we are doomed. Why is resident that residential demand down? The last bastion of human life on Earth. People should, or um, people should be kicking down your doors. I'm assuming it's not demand as much as it is just how much people are making babies. And at the moment, I guess not a lot. Should have taken a loan. Yep, I. Oops, I took a picture. Um, I think I already maxed my loan out. Yes, I did. Take pictures of everything. Or everything. Escape to cancel, spacebar to change size. I know we're running out of money. Spacebar is not changed. Wait, what? Wait, I... We won? But wait, I was taking pictures of stuff. I don't even know what I did. We never even got to 55,000 people. Um... While the rest of the planet wears bifocals, you have talent and vision. Just picking on guys with glasses, is that it? So I could be leader of a brave new world, or mayor of a hopeful nation, or elected official of cautious community, or person who sits in chair that is too big for them. Yep, that's... that's me. Alright, well... We won. Not sure if there's a whole lot more to do in SimCity. Scenario-wise, anyway. Um, I think a better, better field might be a decent scenario. Criminalville we did. Fall of the Wall is... kind of tedious from what I remember. Just a bunch of deleting of the wall. Um, Soul World Cup. Could try it. Um... A better, better field looks like a city that I would have made. It's got all these great things like nuclear waste fields, and another one, and another one, and busted up industry. Looks like a thing I would have made. We could do another round of this. Another SimCity scenario. Or... Let me go into Steam for a brief moment. Let me pop back into the main menu. Oh, wait, I can't. Hmm. Hmm. For whatever reason, once you're in a scenario in this game, you can't get out of it. You have to just close the whole game down. Actually, fun thing in this game about nuclear waste. No property will develop in it, but you can take stuff like schools and universities and whatnot, power plants, throw it in the nuclear waste and they'll be just fine. Also, people are popping up on Steam and clogging everything up. Friends. Offline. I have no fr- oh, go away, guys! <laughs> Man, Cardi, you're clogging up the chat. Um, so somebody gifted me Magical Diary, which... <laughs> that's the Steam picture for. Oh god, what is this? I don't know anything about Magical Diary except for the fact that I got it for free. I don't know what it is. Um, I want to see... Two unread chat messages. I don't know what kind of game it is. Let's see. Store page, I guess? Did I click that? There you go. Design your own character to attend a magical school. First name, 
Ravina, last name. Sue? Train your skills and learn to cast spells. Oh, God. <laughs> is this a dating sim, or is this... I don't know what this is. Face challenging puzzles in the school dungeon. Great. I've got a spell that makes things into ladders. Fifteen dollars. Why did somebody spend fifteen dollars on me? For this. Oops. Oh, it went away. Right now it's back, but only partially. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Do you want me to play this? I don't mind. I don't know if SimCity, if the scenarios are getting a little tiresome. Alright, I'll try it. Why not? I'm gonna kill SimCity for a brief moment. What I first need to find out is... Um, 